Hey Dr. Primrose, this is Organic Chemistry class. My name is Peter Robinson and I'm going to talk to you about resonance today. Resonance is the way that we can kind of patch up problems we have with our bond length representation like shown here. Here we have a pi, uh, pi bonds and a positive charge spread across three carbon atoms. However, this is not how the molecule actually exists in reality. In reality, it's somewhere in between two resonance forms. Let me show you how to make those. From your class, Dr. Primrose told you several rules about how to draw resonance forms. And one of them is showing that if there's a positive charge, you always need to show the electrons moving towards it. And that's what we'll do. Here we have high electrons drawing an arrow moving towards the positive charge. Now from this structure, we can draw the next resonance form. And it'll look very similar to this one. Three carbons. But the, now the pi electrons are in this bond and positive charge switches sides. Neither one of these actually exists in reality. However, it is somewhere in between. But using these two different structures, we can predict the reacti reactivity of this uh, compound. A more correct way to draw this would be showing the delocalization of the pi bonds. It's split up between these three carbons and positive charge is also split up between these carbons. However, positive charge is most re represented on these two carbons. So you can kind of show there's a partial positive, knowing that maybe something negative floating around in solution with it would want to be inter interact with these two carbons over this one because of the resonance forms.